what should I do with my insulin on the day of surgery or the night before surgery? The general rule is if you are going to fast overnight before the surgery, which is what you need to do before most surgery, then you should reduce long acting insulin or basal insulin by 30% for the day of surgery. The reason is simple. Since you will be fasting, you do not need to take as much insulin. If you do not know what is low acting insulin, please refer to my other video about this. Now let's look at a few examples to help you better understand it. This is a gentleman with type 2 diabetes. His medications include metformin, trulicity, and lantus 20 units every morning. His blood sugar has been well controlled, mostly in the low 100s. He will have surgery tomorrow. Since Lantus is a long acting insulin, he should take 30% less Lantus on the morning of surgery, which is 14 units. All non insulin diabetes medications like metformin and trulicity should be suspended on the day of surgery. You might ask me, what if he takes Lantus at night every day instead of in the morning? Then he should take 14 units of Lantus the night before surgery. Now this is the same gentleman taking the same medications for diabetes. However, his diabetes has not been well controlled recently. His blood sugar has been in the 200s to 300s range. He's about to have surgery tomorrow. What should he do with the insulin now? Since his surgery is not for an emergent condition, I suggested that he reschedule the surgery to a later date until his blood sugar is better controlled. If you have surgery when the blood sugar is not controlled, it will take longer for the wounds to heal and you are more likely to get infection after the surgery. Now this is a lady with type 1 diabetes using insulin pump. The basal rate on her pump is 1 unit per hour, which is 24 units for 24 hours. Her blood sugar has been well controlled. She will have surgery tomorrow. In this situation, she should reduce basal rate by 30%, from 1 unit per hour to 0.7 unit per hour. When should she switch to this new basal rate? She can set up a temporary basal rate of 0.7 unit per hour on the pump and switch this temporary basal rate the night before the surgery.